All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kem. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. I am coming in hot today, and I am super excited to finally be presenting the material in today's video. So this is episode 48, the Red Pyramid Fluid Dynamics Experiment. And in today's video, I will be revealing a series of experiments that demonstrate the fluid dynamics that were involved in the operation of the Red Pyramid. These experiments were sent to me by a friend and supporter of the channel by the name of John Sage. You've probably seen them down in the comment section, and I was completely blown away the first time I saw these. John, thank you so much for taking the time to set up these experiments. The results are overwhelmingly compelling, and they demonstrate exactly how I have proposed this structure working. So hopefully now I have your attention, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification bell so that you get noticed when the new videos premiere every single week. If you want to help this channel, just do that. Click that little notification bell. It makes a huge difference for me. And if you want to help support the channel, you can also pick up a limited first edition print copy of the book or grab yourself a new Land of Chem t-shirt, all available at www.thelandofchem.com. I will put a link in the video description below. Also follow me on Instagram at the Land of Chem. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for the intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. So this is the setup for experiment number one. You can see the metal square back here, a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle representing the red pyramid and the primary reaction chamber in the center here. And the water supply, which you can see here, feeding into the primary reaction chamber is intended to simulate the function of the northern pump shaft. This plastic container is capped with a pressure gauge and on the side of the bottle, markings have been made to indicate the atmospheric pressure and PSI from the gauge at that specific water level. So now, let's see the fluid dynamics and physics in action. So you can see in that video that as the water level rises in the chamber, the pressure in the upper portion of the container increases. And this is exactly how I've explained this mechanism of operation within the red pyramid. Next up, we have added the connecting shaft between the primary reaction chamber and the secondary air reformer. So let's see what happens. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, exactly as I have proposed, the water level rising in the chambers to seal off the connecting shaft, isolating the reactions in each chamber and creating two separate reaction environments and pressure dynamics within each chamber. Now, in the third demonstration, we have added the third and final synthesis chamber here on the far left. So ladies and gentlemen, let's see what happens. And just a quick reminder that brand new Land of Chem merch is finally available at thelandofchem.com. The new fifth degree logo, alchemical symbol for hydrochloric acid on a badass raw image of the central pyramid of Giza. And of course, the OG second degree logo, a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle representing the red pyramid. Very apropos for today's video featuring molecular ammonia inside of the structure. This logo designed by yours truly, both now available at thelandofchem.com. And of course... 
limited first edition print copies of the book, The Land of Chem, an initiation into ancient chemistry through the degrees of the Egyptian pyramids, also now available at thelandofchem.com. I will put a link in the video description below. If you want to help support the channel, just go to the website. You can pick up a copy of the book, grab yourself a t-shirt. Either way, all the orders mean the world to me. So thank you all so much for your support. Pretty badass, right? I always knew, just based on the application of simple physics and a little knowledge of fluid dynamics, that this is exactly how the Red Pyramid operated, but it is so cool to finally see the hypothesis being tested and proved experimentally. So John, once again, amazing work and thank you so much, but we aren't done quite yet. So take a look at this exceptional high definition image from inside of the Red Pyramid circa 2008 courtesy of the Austria Forum and you can see more of this unusual fluid dynamic patterns here in the lower portion of the chamber. So John has been following my work since day one and he suggested that the water inlet that delivered water into the structure is located here in this pit at the bottom section of the northern pump shaft. And we both agree that the fluid dynamic patterns here in the lower portion of the chamber are a direct result of the water filling process. So you can see here in some of my personal images from my research expedition last year that the water crashes into this southeast corner producing a rising wave pattern that you can see here. And it falls back down after flowing around this corner. The water then continues to flow around the chamber, producing the exact same wave pattern as it flows around the northwestern corner and then dropping back down again. Here's another image of that northwestern corner so you can see that fluid dynamic pattern stain here on the wall. So John put together another experiment that demonstrates this exact fluid dynamic system with the water coming from the pit that you can see here in this diagram of the Red Pyramid flowing into the primary reaction chamber. And here is the setup for this experiment and the water nozzle is set up here to mimic the water being pumped in from the pit. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what happens. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you realize what you just witnessed. This plastic tub has the same proportions as the lower section of the red pyramid chambers and the experiment produced the exact same wave formation in the southeastern corner of the tub that you can very clearly see here in the southeastern corner of the primary reaction chamber. This experiment along with the chemical analysis of the staining that you can see here are direct indications that this is no longer just a hypothetical explanation of how this structure worked. But these are the first steps to proving the physics that I have theorized are involved in the operation of the Red Pyramid with legitimate experiment and demonstration. Exceptional work, John. And ladies and gentlemen, for now, I rest my case. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was episode 48, the Red Pyramid Fluid Dynamics Experiment. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and it was an awesome experience for me to finally see my ideas start to come to life. So I kept my explanation of the physics involved in today's experiments fairly brief mainly because there are more systems of operation yet to be revealed regarding the function of the Red Pyramid. So please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. Click that little notification bell and stay tuned. We will be revisiting these experiments very soon with some fascinating new research incorporated. John, thank you so much once again for taking the time to set up these demonstrations. They are amazing. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you and I can come up with in the future. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers and supporters of the Land of Chem. You all mean the world to me, and I do this for you, so I really hope you're enjoying the material. If you want to help support the channel, thelandofchem.com, limited first edition print copies of the book and Land of Chem merch, I'll put a link in the video description below. Follow me on Instagram at thelandofchem. That is it for today's episode, so I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube. Click that little notification button and check out this new video. Come on, do it. Do it now.